So we've looked at how to use Git Kraken, we've looked at how to use the web GUI, but now I want to take a look at how do we use the command line? How do we do all this work from just the terminal? So we uh, change directory to our repo, and we look at our Git status. Now notice our Git status, we are up to date with the origin and the master. So if you type Git help, you'll be able to see all of the options that you have available. Here you can see tags, branches, um, add moves. So let's go ahead and look at branch, git branch. So we have the patch A branch, the master branch, the test branch, and the master is green with the asterisk. So we know that's the branch we're currently using or the one that we have checked out. So let's open the folder. So here's what we've got checked out. So let's check out Poof. Now notice that once we did that, it changed what files were in our folder. And then we can go back to master and it once again changes which files are in our folder. Remember this is using the hidden git folder which is holding on to the different versions of the work. So here we are, we're in the master branch and let's uh, Let's touch a file. This is the way to create a file. So we'll just call it um, this command line file.txt. So here we are. We've made this command line file.txt. We're going to use nano to edit that file. And we're just going to write something in here, just adding stuff for testing. Okay. Uh, control X. Yes. Save it. Okay. So now if we open that file, we see, yep. We've, we've added something to that file. Uh, we could even edit it in, you know, get it, save it. And now let's take a look at our status. Now notice it says that we now have a new file. Um, this file is not on the origin. So we're going to get add. We're going to add this file with this dot. We're saying we want everything. Uh, or you can just type the name of the file. If you have lots of files, you would just use the dot to say all the files that have changed. And this is going to stage it. So remember, we use that staging function in, in Git Kraken. So we staged the file now. Now we go look at the website. We refresh on the master branch, and it's not there because we haven't committed or pushed it yet. So now we're going to commit that file. We're going to make that a permanent change on our local Git repository here. So we added this command line file. The dash m allows us to give a message. Anything in the quotes will be the, the name of it. So we've added that file. It's been committed. We go back to the website. We look, it's still not up there. Remember, we committed that locally, but we have not committed that onto the origin. So we're going to push git push dash u origin. So we're, we're pushing to the origin to branch master. So git push u origin master. We have to log in here, username and my password. And there we go. So it's pushing and there it goes. So it pushed this from the local master to the origin master or the web webmaster here that we have here. So now we check our status. We're current and up to date. We click on it and here's the file. So there we go. We can we can uh, add new files and just push that from the command line, which is really handy. A lot of the work that you'll be doing for Android will be on the command line, so you can go ahead and just uh, push your information from there while doing that. Uh, what's some other things that we can look at here? That's, that's probably the biggest thing you're going to do for the command line, but let's take a look here. So if we edit the file on the web interface, and now some other stuff. So we've, we've edited it going to commit that. We're going to save that, right? 
go back to our command line. We're going to check our git status. Now, notice this is a little bit wrong. It should show me that there's a change. It may just be that it takes a minute for it to update, uh, just like it did in Git Kraken. Took us, uh, you know, a minute. We know there's a change. Let's go ahead and pull. So, git pull, we're on the master branch. We've pulled the change that we've made from origin master to the local machine. And now, if we go look at our file, poof, there it is. And now some other stuff. All right, so so here we are, command line, we push and we pull. So really easy to do this stuff in the command line. However, uh, GUI tools do make it a little handier sometimes.